that you're still here. I want to go quickly to the Word of God, the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 12. I want to thank God for my daughter. She's here tonight, and certainly to my musician MD tonight. Come on, let's thank God for them. Thank you so very much. Let me tell you why it's important to have the Holy Ghost. Is because we are now facing where the enemy is really trying its best to distract the saints. And if we are not careful, the enemy is going to have us in a trance and we won't be able to get out. So the Holy Ghost is a reminder that just in case you want to go on silent, the Holy Ghost is supposed to strum something up on the inside of you to let you know that how this all started, you can't end it up with a silent praise. You got to continue to keep doing what you've been doing. Because what you've been doing, obviously, it's been working. Why don't you just look at somebody and tell them, say, keep doing what you've been doing. Because what you've been doing, obviously, it's been working for you. You're here right now, right? And it works. The only reason why I'm still in this thing right now is because I love what I do. Not only that, but I love my Savior. I love that he went to the cross and he died for my sins. And so it becomes of me to make sure that I do the necessary things to continue to keep coming to church, continue to remain faithful. And how you do that, the Holy Ghost got to help you. I'm going to talk about that tonight. The book of Acts chapter 2, verse 12, it says, And they were all amazed. And were in doubt, saying one to another, what meaneth this? Others mocking said, these men are full of new wine. And Peter standing up with the eleven lifted up his voice and said unto them, ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, Be this known unto you and hearken to my voice. For these these I'm trying to see if you can find yourself in this scripture. These are not drunken as ye suppose. Seeing it is but of the third hour of the day. But this is that. That which was spoken by the prophet Joel said that it shall come to pass that in the last days, said God. He said, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Let me just park right there for just a few minutes I need you to just look at somebody and say, your sons and your daughters are getting ready to do stuff that they've never done. Say, your sons and your daughters are getting ready to run to Jesus like never before. Say, your sons and your daughters are getting ready to come to God and say, Lord, what can I do to be saved? I want you to give up on your sons and your daughters. I don't care how far they are out in the world. Sisters and brothers, don't give up on them. You got to continue to keep that prayer fleece around them. 
And make sure that you keep praying that, 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 because the enemy's job is to steal, kill, and destroy. But you got power. Tell the devil, let loose of my children. Anybody in here know what I'm talking about? It said in the last days, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaiden, I will pour out of those on these days my spirit and they shall prophesy. I want you to close your Bible, grab a neighbor by the hand and look them right dead in the eye. They may owe you some money. This is a good time to get it. And when you, some of y'all ain't touching nobody. What's up with you? What's up? What's up? Grab a neighbor by the hand and look them right dead in the eye and tell them, say, neighbor, I've got something that drives me to be drunk. Not as you suppose. But I get drunk in the spirit. That's what I want to talk about tonight. I've got something that drives me to be drunk in the spirit. Matter of fact, what is it? What is it? This is that and that is this. It's something that makes you move when you don't feel like it. It's something that gets all down on the inside. And somebody said it'll make you run when ain't nobody behind you. It said it'll make you laugh when ain't nothing funny. It said it'll make you cry when ain't nobody done nothing to you. So obviously it's got to be this, has got to be that. I don't know about you, but the, when you really look at where we are today, the government now, it seems as though, are confused. And now you look at television and you see news, you don't even know what to expect. You don't know what's going to happen next, and that's why it's important to make sure that your Holy Ghost is plugged in. So you can know that when you're watching the news, you can know what to pray for. Y'all not hearing me in here. What is it that drives us to continue to come to church? We come to church conferences. What drives us to come to church appointments? to do church assignments, to do church fundraisers. It's, it's something that connects you to this thing called ministry. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to be influenced by something and you don't have some type of relationship with it. It's got to be something that keeps you coming back to church. That's if it's in you because if it's not in you, you're not going to come. Oh, you ought, to, you, ought to, you ought to thought about that for a moment. I said, that's if it's in you, because if it's not in you, you're not going to come. So look at your neighbor and say, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. A person that trains for fitness has to keep coming back to see results. A student has to keep studying to pass the test. A business owner has to keep staying in touch with what makes business thrive. An alcoholic keeps going back for the wine. A gambler keeps going and pulling the slot machine. Certainly that's not none of you all in here. I'm going to think you're guilty if you don't say nothing. Person that smokes keep going back and buying cigarettes. There's something that they're supporting you to keep coming back for what you thirst at. A saint keeps coming to church 
to get a word and not only that, but to stimulate and to motivate you to do greater works. It's a drive, it's a push, it's an initiative, it's momentum, it, it's a get up to go, of the vigor, an impulse, it's something that drives you to keep coming and teaching Sunday school. Something that keeps driving you, musicians, to keep playing the instrument. It's something other than money. Something. You know, I'm a musician, so I know, I know, I know how they feel every now and then. <laughs> yeah, it's something that drives an evangelist. To stay on fire for God. When they get into their word and God gives them revelation. And they get happy in their own study time. Y'all ain't hearing me. Mm -hmm. It's something that drives you to keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Something drives us to come to this conference tonight is because you know that there is something that God has for you every time you come. Even if it's just jotting down something that the Holy Ghost gave you while you're sitting up in here. Look at your neighbor and say, you ought to pay for that. Y'all a little slow in here. Mm -hmm. The expectation that you will receive tapping in will Validate, confirm, and manifest that what God has promised, he's yet able to perform. From here on out in this day forward, why we are connected to church and connected to what makes you see what God has given you to have this drive. The true ministry will be driven under the influence of God's spirit to make you hunger and thirst after righteousness. The Bible says, if you do hunger and thirst, you shall be. All right, now y'all in the right place here. We serve in ministry under the power of the Holy Ghost because it's commitment. We give in ministry under the power of the Holy Ghost because we are good stewards. We travel in ministry under the power of the Holy Ghost because we want God to get all the glory, not only that, but make foolproof our ministry. We preach in the ministry under the Holy Ghost so that souls will be saved. We sing in the ministry under the power of the Holy Ghost that the power will resonate and draw souls in. We pray in the ministry under the power of the Holy Ghost until heaven hears and he brings you an answer. We fast. Saints don't fast like they used to. Mm -hmm. Last your neighbor said, when was the last time you fasted? Don't wait on an answer. Don't wait on an answer. But we fast in the ministry under the power of the Holy Ghost, knowing that what seems impossible, it becomes possible. And I stop by to tell you that as the, we have read the scripture where it talks about that we were all on one accord. And that was the day of Pentecost and everybody in here out of experience, Pentecost a couple of Sundays ago. I'm going to say that one more time. Some of y'all probably didn't come to church. I said uh, uh, everybody in here should have been at church because that was Pentecost Sunday. Uh, y'all a little slow in here, my friend. Everybody that is connected to church and connected to God should have been here on Pentecost Sunday because that was the day that Pentecost fell. That was the day that the Holy Ghost got a hold to the people of God. 
It brought such a power in the place until everybody was under the influence of the Holy Ghost. The scripture declares that the day of Pentecost, they were not just some, but all of them were filled with the Holy Ghost. It was for three reasons that it all happened. And it happened not just in a week, but it happened in one night. In the Bible, it says that they were with one accord. Not on the cord, but with one accord. The power of God sat on each of them. And then number three, they were all filled with the Spirit of God. In other words, it was something that driven them to getting to that place to feel the power of God. Well, I stopped by to tell you that where God is getting ready to take the saints, we've got to have more of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The reason why is because there are demonic spirits that are creeping into the church. And it's getting into some of the saints because the saints ain't as lovely as they used to be. Yeah, that, 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 that's it. there's demons that are latching on to some clothes in here if you're not careful. And you, you got to make sure that you get to church because if you don't get to church and get to church in time, you're going to miss the move of God. Tell your neighbor, say, you can't forget what God done for you. That's why it drives you to come to church. When you come to church, you do understand that I can't just wait on the praise team to get me up and going. I'm going to say that one more time. I, 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 I can't wait on the praise team to get me up and running again. My praise team should have started when I left home. My praise team should have started when I was driving in my car. Your praise team should have started when you got out the car and walked in here. He said, enter into his gate with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. That's what happens when you got relationship with God. You get in here and you know that you got to be on fire because I can't let nothing separate me from the love of God. I need you to give somebody a high five and tell them, say, we got to get to church. And I don't mean, I don't mean stay online. The saints need to be at church. I'm going to say that for the one that didn't say anything. I said the real saints should be at church. You remember when it was, it started out when we were kids and, and how, how mom and daddy and them had to put us all in the, in the same van and we all went to church together. We didn't leave nobody behind. We brought them all to church. I want to just park here for just a moment to tell some of these parents, uh-huh, you got, you got to bring your children to church. Because if you don't bring them to church, guess what they're going to be doing? They're going to be at home on YouTube. If you don't bring them to church, guess where else they're going to be? They're going to be on their iPads. Oh, y'all don't believe what I'm saying in here. Uh, tell your neighbor, say, bring your children to church. Bring your grandchildren, grandma and grandpa. Bring them to church. Because that's what's happening now. It's like the kids are telling the mamas what to do. Yeah, you, you see what kind of day we're living in? Yeah, they're talking back to their mama and their daddy. But it's important that we have the Holy Ghost so the Holy Ghost can remind you where you're supposed to be when it comes time for church. David said, I was glad 
I wasn't sad. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord that when I get there, I'll find the joy that I need. When I get there, I'll have the peace that I need. When I get there, I'll find my healing that I've been longing for. And that's why it's important to get to church. The Holy Ghost can have you under a God spell to make you act right. I'm going to say that one more time. You, you know God's spell is the Spirit of God. Uh -huh. The Holy Ghost will have you under a God spell so that you can act right. And that's why it's important to make sure that you have the Holy Ghost you got to have the Holy Ghost before you leave your house. Because if you don't have it, something going to make rise up in you. Y'all ain't hearing me. And I know you say you're saved, sanctified, but sometimes somebody can push a button. And before you know it, you done said something you know you should not. Oh, y'all don't believe that, do you? Oh, I've seen it happen quite a bit. Uh, quite a bit. People say they save and got the Holy Ghost and somebody died out in front of them while they driving and they go putting up fingers. Y'all ain't hearing me. I say they, they go putting up fingers. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But, but saints, what, what, what does saints do? Saints just say, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Want to say something, but the Holy Ghost won't let you say nothing. Am I talking to them kind of people up in here? Yeah, it won't let you say nothing because, see, you, 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 you got to be careful now because it used to be a time when folk holler out the window and tell you where to go. But now they got knives and guns, y'all. Look at your neighbor and say, be careful, be careful. Let the Holy Ghost lead and guide you and make you do the right thing. I don't know about you, but as I hasten to, ooh, to a close, I want to talk about this is that. The reason why. I get drunk sometime in the spirit is because I've got something on the inside. I do know that there are some people that have been driven by other reasons this week. I do know that there are some people that are driven because you're looking for an honorarium. I do know that there are some people that are driven this week because they got a seat. I do know that somebody that's been driven here because they want to get close to the screen. I know that there are some people that are driven by success. And then I know some people that are driven by accomplishments. Some people are driven by the passion of something. Then some people are driven by inspiration. Some people are driven by uh -huh, what they've been influenced in their life. But successful people are driven by successful people. Look at your neighbor and say, uh-huh, I'm watching you. Mm -hmm. Because I see what God has done for you. And if he done it for you, I know he gonna do it for me. Am I talking to anybody up in here? You see, that's why character is so important when it comes to living a saved life. Because you got the low life people are attracted to low life people. Hood rats mm -hmm, hang out with hood rats.
regrets. You've got some people that uh, don't have no kind of direction in their life. And that's why the enemy comes in and steer them in the wrong way. But I stopped by to tell you, you got to be careful in who you keep company with. Because the enemy, he doesn't care about how much money you got. He don't care who your mama and daddy is. He don't care how long you say you've been saved. The enemies come to kill, steal, and destroy. But thank God, Jesus come that we might have life. Anybody in here got life? And have it more abundantly. Well, I just want to question some of the leaders in here. Because if you have been driven to do what you do. Uh -huh, the question becomes what, what's happening? What keeps you motivated? What's driving you to do all that you've done around this year? What are you doing? When is the next move? When is the next assignment? When is the next program? When is the next convocation? Uh -huh. And I want to know that are you really saying, Lord, I just need a little bit more. Because I can't do it by myself. Anybody know the Holy Ghost? It'll keep you when you can't keep yourself. The Holy Ghost will give you revelation. It'll drop in your spirit like something from heaven that came down. Tell your neighbor, say, we got to have a little more of the Holy Ghost. Yes, we do because... Uh, God's getting ready to give you inspiration. God's getting ready to give you revelation. God's getting ready to take you places that you never thought you'd go this fast. Tell your neighbor, say, you got to get ready. Because God is on the move. And he is getting ready to pass out blessings. That's got your name on it. And all I want to know tonight is how many of y'all say I got to have the Holy Ghost. And not just have it, but I got to get drunk in the spirit. Because the Bible says, good God Almighty, for those that are led by the spirit, they are the sons of God. Well, I stop about to tell you that uh, whatever, 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 whatever you've been asking God to do for you, it has to be inspiration by the Holy Ghost for God to steer you in the right direction. Just look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I got to have this, the Holy Ghost in order to be inspired to be able to witness to those that won't even come to church I gotta have the Holy Ghost in order to be able to tell somebody that Jesus saves he keeps and he satisfies I gotta have influence to be able to share the good news of Jesus Christ I got to have influence to be able to tell somebody that every time you come to church, you got to start looking up and quit looking around and get in the service so you won't miss what God is about to do. Well, let me tell you something. You see, intellectual people... They are influenced to read their way out. Artists, they're influenced to create their way out. 
politicians are influenced to legislate their way out. Industrialists are influenced to work their way out. Businessmen are influenced to spin their way out. Consumers are influenced to compete their way out. A student has been influenced to study their way out. A doctor has been influenced to prescribe his way out. A lawyer has to be influenced to fight his way out. A prostitute had been influenced to sell her way out. A crackhead had been influenced The crack is the way out. An alcoholic has been influenced that drinking is the way out. Satan influences you that there is no way out. But the last time I checked, under the influence, I found out that Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the light. Can I get a witness? I don't know about y'all, but I would turn my back on God now because I'm too far in it and I can't quit it. I've seen some miracles that God performed. I've seen God take a depressed person and lift their spirit and give them peace. I've seen God heal somebody of cancer. I've seen God take the crack off the street and tell somebody that Jesus is the way. When I stop about to tell you all that I got on the inside, I don't let nothing separate me from the love of God. Can I get a witness? Because this joy that I got, the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it. Somebody said that I got the Holy Ghost. The reason why I know I got it, things I used to do, I don't do no more. Places I used to go, I don't go no more. I know he changed me. I looked at my hands. My hands look new. I looked at my feet. And they did too. I began to walk. I had a new walk. I began to sing. I had a new song. Tell your neighbor, says something got a hold of me. Oh, yes, it did one day. Something got a hold of me. You know why? I went to a meeting one night and my heart wasn't right. But the Holy Ghost got a hold of me. Yes, it did. I kept on calling on the name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost got a hold of my tongue. My tongue got loose. And I said, Lord, any way you bless me, I'll be satisfied. Tell your neighbor, say the Holy Ghost, it'll mess you up. It'll get you on the floor. It'll make you roll two and three times. The Holy Ghost, can I get a witness in here? Sometimes you don't know what then got a hold of you. You start walking the flow. Cause the Holy Ghost got a hold of you. And I'm here to tell you that ever since the Holy Ghost got on me, I don't have to worry 
about who's next to me. I can bind the devil and I can speak in tongues and tell the devil to shut up and give God the glory and let the Holy Ghost do the rest. Can I get a witness? Shout it, yeah. I got a question. I want to ask y'all tonight. What is it that keeps you coming back for more? What's driving you to be committed? What's driving you to stay focused? What's driving you to continue to go after souls? What's driving you to keep coming to Bible study? What's driving you to keep coming to rehearsal? What's driving you pastors to the pulpit? What's driving you nurses to the church nurses station? What's driving you ushers to serve God's people? What's driving you musicians to your instruments? What's driving youth leaders to their assignment? What's driving you to this convention tonight? Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, I came to get the spirit back in me so that the Lord can use me. He'll use me to lay hands on the sick. And the Bible says they shall recover. He'll use me to speak the broken lives and the lives are changed. He'll use me to inspire somebody. Tell your neighbor, say, that's why I keep coming so I can get a double dose of the Holy Ghost. What is this? And what is that? Well, this is that. It changed me. It saved me. It filled me. It thrilled me. It kept me. It never left me. It still feel it. I'm telling you, it's real. It lifts my burdens. It calms my fears. It's in my hands. It gets in my feet. Your feet get light. And somebody wrote a song. Says, what is this that make me love all of my haters? What is this that make me love all my friends? Whatever it is, it won't let me hold my peace. Can I get a witness? Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, in order for God to use you, you got to have the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost, it'll keep your mind. He'll keep you in perfect peace. If you keep your mind staying on him, the Holy Ghost, get a hold of your belly. And out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. The Holy Ghost, it'll get in your hands. Clap your hands. All ye people, let's make the devil mad. Every time you feel the Holy Ghost, don't resist it. Let it happen. Because the power of the Holy Ghost, it puts running in your feet. It puts clapping in your hands. It puts joy in your soul. Tell your neighbor, say, I got joy. And this joy that I have, the world did give it. And the world it away. Shout it yeah. Shout it yeah. Shout it yeah. I gotta get out of here. But the Holy Ghost, 
is powerful. Yes, it is. To the young people, make sure you got the Holy Ghost. I know school is out, but in chemistry, let me tell you what happened. With Jesus, the Holy Ghost turned the water into wine. In biology, he was born without a normal conception. In physics, he disproved the law of gravity and ascended unto heaven. In economics, he disproved the law of diminishing, feeding the 5,000 with two fish and five loaves of bread. In medicine, he cured the sick and the blind without administering a single dose of drugs in history he was the beginning and the end he's the first and the last in government he's called a wonderful counselor the prince of peace the everlasting father in religion he is no one could come unto the father except through him i stopped by to tell you that who is it that would serve a god like this jesus had no servants but yet was called the master he had no degree but yet they called him teacher he had no medicine but yet they called him healer he had no armies but yet they feared him he won the military battles but he conquered the world he committed no crime but was yet crucified he was born and might born twice he became poor but he might possess wealth he became homeless that he might have mansions he became stripped and he had clothes he was forsaken but his friends found out who he was he was bound but might I add he was perfectly liberal he was sad that I might have joy he was descended that I could be lifted up he became a servant that I might be the son he became hungry that I might have food he became made sin that I might share righteousness he died that I could have a taste of eternal life he will come down that I might go up he was buried in a tomb that now he lives and not only does he live but we live living he loved me dying he saved me buried he carried my sins fall away rising he justified me and freed me forever that one day I said one day he's coming back what a glorious day can you see the day when Jesus come back for us we got to be ready but the only connection you gotta have the Holy Ghost cause his spirit is gonna connect with ours good God Almighty and that's when we all get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus we will sing it won't be no more reports we will sing it won't be no more gatherings we will sing it won't be no more hospitals we will sing it won't be no more meetings we will sing it won't be no more Bible class we will sing it won't be no more getting our hair done we will sing and shout the victory I made it anybody here can say Lord help me to make 
take it in I gotta have the Holy Ghost It gets in your hands Make you wanna shout the Holy Ghost It'll pick you up It'll turn you around The Holy Ghost Who got it? I said who got it? I need you to touch three people And say I got it I got it I got it Something about the Holy Ghost I can't explain it I got it Somebody say how it make you feel I can't explain it But I feel good 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 I feel good 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 Every time I think about Jesus It makes me Feel good Who am I talking to Do you have it It'll make you speak And you don't know what you're saying Do you have it It'll give you revelation And the next time you know God done confirmed it Do you have it I need you to tell somebody The Holy Ghost Is the only thing That's gonna help you To hold on To your salvation the Holy Ghost is the only thing that's going to help you to hold on to your healing. The Holy Ghost is the only thing that's going to help you to hold on to your praise. The Holy Ghost is the only thing that's going to help you to pray through. Can I get a witness? I need y'all to open your mouth and give God a praise. Let's see if you still got it. Let's see if you still got it. Let's see if you still got it. Who got it in here? You can't just look at me. You ought to possess the habit. You can't just wait on me. You ought to have it. I said the Holy Ghost. It's a reminder to let you know that what the enemy tries to do, the Holy Ghost will give you an option to keep on going. Is it anybody here that says, Sister Dorinda, I just need more. I want you to run to this altar and just say, Lord, I need more of your Holy Ghost. Who in here is bold enough to come out your seat? Leaders, you ought to be bold enough to come out of your seat. What you looking at? You ought to be bold enough to see if you can speak again. You ought to be bold enough to say, Lord, any way you bless me, I'll be satisfied. Your Holy Ghost, I gotta have it. I can't dry up in the valley. I got souls that are coming, and I need more. Who am I talking to? Are you coming, or are you gonna stay there? I need more of the Holy Ghost. I gotta have it. It's gonna help me. Where I'm going, I gotta have it. It's gonna hold me when I get in a tough situation. I gotta have it. It's gonna lead and guide me into all truth. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Who am I talking to? If you want it, act like you want it. Close your eyes. Think on Jesus, give God praise. The more you praise Him, the more the Holy Ghost will come. The more you praise Him, Baba Basha. Let's say, keep on day, keep on day.
Glory, Shanda, Oma, Hetera, the Motion, Rabba, Baba, Basha, Kikanda, the Moses, Come on, Baba, Baba, Basha, Come on, Holy Ghost, Have your way, 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 Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, have your way. Have your way, Shatanar. Rock on, shit.
Shika, Robi and the Laraba, Shiba, Baba, Baba, Shake. I need the Holy Ghost. I gotta have it. I gotta have it. For my great grandchildren. I gotta have it. Lord, I gotta have it. Shika, Baba. I gotta have it. Yo, Shay. Rabba, Baba, Shake, Baba, 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 Baba. Come on, open your mouth and say, Holy Ghost, I need you. Open your mouth and say, Holy Ghost, I need you. Come on, say it. Holy Ghost, I need
Tonight was a refilling. You say you're saved, but God giving you a refilling tonight. Get somebody by both hands. And I need you to pray. Pray that God's power will continue to fall in their lives. Ah, oh, we got to have it, saints. We got to have it, saints. There's a lot of people coming in the church. And if we don't have the power, we're not going to be able to break yokes. I said, if we don't have the power, we're not going to be able to break yokes. Come on, begin to pray for that person. God's anointing be upon your life. Come on, begin. Oh God, we speak prosperity of their lives. In the name of Jesus. God, we speak healing in their bodies. From the top of their heads to the soles of their feet. Oh, we come against every sickness and disease in this room. Oh, your blood cover now. Your blood deliver now. In the name of Jesus. Go through the bloodstream, oh God. Purify the blood that every organ will function properly. In the name of Jesus. We come against cancer. We come against diabetes. We come against diabetes. Ah, ailments that we don't even know to call. God, I pray that you touch now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, open your mouth and say, in the name of Jesus. I decree healing upon your body. In the name of Jesus. I decree a great anointing. In the name of Jesus. I decree more power. In the name of Jesus. That God would develop your prayer life. In the name of Jesus. That you get an appetite to fast. In the name of Jesus. Yea God, yea God, yea God, yea God, yea God, yea God. Sheta da 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 bosha. Rabban she. Hate da da bosha. Rabban shaya. Rabban shika da 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 bo. Rabban shataya. Come on, saints. Come on. Come on, saints. Come on. Come on, saints. Come on, saints. Come on. Sheta da bosha. Come on. This, this, this ignites your power. This ignites your power. Come on. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Don't look. Pray, pray, pray. Come on. Come on, pray. Come on. This is how it was. On the day of Pentecost, everybody was on one accord. Come on, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, have your way. Have your way. Speak, Holy Ghost. Speak, Holy Ghost. Ash! Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Come on, I need to hear you. I need to hear you. Come on in this section over here. Come on, I need to hear you pray. Pray, pray. Come on, pray. Pray, pray, pray. Come on, we got to have it. 
We got to have it. When we go back to our churches, we got to have it. 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 Come on, pray, sex. Pray, pray. Uh, don't sit there and look. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Shete mababasa. Hanesha. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. She babande. Randa damasa. Yay, God. Come on, saints. Don't stop. Come on, don't stop. Don't stop. Open your mouth. She bababansa. It's just a reminder of what happened when you first got it. She, no, we can't lose it. We can't lose it. Mama, we can't lose it. 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 God, we can't lose it, Jesus. Oh, Basaya. Oh, God, we can't lose this. Oh. Come on, saints, don't stop. Don't stop, don't stop. Rabatje. Atanaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranaranarana
Of your word, 
hurt in my belly. Yes, God. Come on, open your mouth. The blood, the blood cover, the blood cover, the blood cover, the blood cover. The blood cover. The blood cover. Shake. Rush. It's your time. It's your time to shout. Come on, shout like you got it. Shout up. Shout the victory. 
Cause we just got revived again. So that means greater works are you getting ready to do now than you've been doing. Listen, I want you to lock arm with one person. Lock arm with one person. Lock arms with one person. Uh, come on, lock arm with one person. Cause we're getting ready to shout. And when I say change, you're gonna let their hand go and you're gonna get another person's hand and go to shout. When I say change, you're gonna let that person go and you're gonna get somebody else's hand. Y'all ready? Y'all don't act like y'all ready. That means you gotta get out of your seat. You can't stay there. I've been trying to get y'all to move out of that seat anyway. Ready? One, two. One, two, three, chop!
life. That's just how good God been to me. Just look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, say, I got the Holy Ghost. I can't explain it, but I really got it. I said I got it. Can y'all help me say it? sleep so good tonight I just need you to look down your row and tell everybody on your row tell them say don't be surprised if the Holy Ghost wakes you up in the middle of the night just say yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord that's how it works the last time I just need you to just tell somebody say don't lose what you got because what you got is more important than what you had you got a better feeling now a greater anointing you got more power tell your neighbor say you got power you can talk to the devil and he got to shut up that's how much power you got you can speak to any sickness and it's got to stop. You got power. You can walk in your house and say, peace be still. You got power. Y'all believe you got that power? We got to stop. We got to stop. Take your seat if you can. Take your seat if you can. I got... Oh, it's real. It's real, it's real.
somebody say, it's real. How many of y'all know it's real tonight? Definitely is real. I've got something that drives me to be drunk in the spirit. And that is the Holy Ghost. How many of you are glad that you got a refilling tonight?